Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are talking all about screen print confetti. Okay, so you might not know what screen print confetti is, and that's okay. A week ago, we didn't know what it was either, but we've been seeing it pop up in more and more places, and even a few people have called in asking if we stock it, which, spoiler alert, we don't. That's why we're making this video, to show you how you could easily make it at home with some spare transfers that you might have hanging around. Now, screen print confetti or screen print sprinkles are a simple and easy way to add a unique texture to your already decorated shirts. It seems to be following the popularity of the bleaching and tie dyeing of the apparel, and it's just a super easy way to add a little extra something to your trendy designs. So are you ready? Let's get started. If you are new to Transfer Express, we do custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, designs, apparel, and advice to help you grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We are kicking out new, helpful videos just like this one every single week. Let's get started making some screen print confetti. First thing we need to do is find an old hot split or goof proof transfer. In some testing that we did, hot split seems to apply and wash the best, but goof proof works pretty good too. So first, we're going to take our transfer and scrape it with scissors, a credit card, a knife, or any paint scrapers to pull up the ink. Then, if you have any big pieces, you could kind of work those and break it up into smaller pieces. And if you want to make it real fine, you could use a coffee grinder too. We love our coffee here too much at Transfer Express to sacrifice our lovely grinder, so we're just going to use our hands and the scissors here today. Once we've got our confetti collected here onto our sheet, I'm just gonna pour it down into this little container. Thanks, Taco Bell. Now, we'll load our pre-printed shirt onto our heat press, and this is where we'll sprinkle our confetti over or around the design. Now, you could arrange it to make it look exactly how you want if your sprinkle technique doesn't work out the best. Now, once we're happy with how it looks, we're gonna cover everything with a cover sheet and press this down. Now for hot split, 365 degrees for 10 seconds, just like the original instructions with that medium to firm pressure works fantastic. For best results with the goof proof, we did find that firm pressure and about 10 seconds really gets the ink to set into the fabric. Now, we're gonna pull our cover sheet off hot, and then we'll pull our shirt off the heat press here. And bam, check that out. What a unique finish that we easily added to our already printed t-shirts. This one was printed with goof proof on the original decoration with the hot split over top of it, if you were wondering. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little screen printed transfer hack. And if you want to learn more about what we do here at Transfer Express, or if you want some free samples, head on over to transferexpress.com or click the link in the description below. Be sure you're subscribed here to our channel because we're dropping new videos just like this one every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.